So in this video, we're going to talk about how to factor this polynomial, f of x equals 10x cubed plus 27x squared plus 2x minus 24. Uh, this is a cubic polynomial. Uh, there's no uh, easily usable formula for solving cubics. There actually is a formula, but nobody ever learns it because it's so incredibly complicated. So the technique that is often taught in pre-calculus is the use the uh, rational root test. So the possible rational roots, the numerator will be factors of the constant term. So this is a polynomial with integer coefficients. If I have a polynomial with integer coefficients, the possible rational roots be numbers that go into the uh, constant terms. So plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus four, plus or minus six, plus or minus eight, plus or minus 12, and plus or minus 24. Those are all of the factors of 24, both positive and negative. And then the denominator will be things that go into the leading coefficients. So plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus five, and plus or minus 10. All right, so this gives us a big list of possible rational roots. So dividing by one, plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus four, plus or minus six, plus or minus eight, plus or minus 12, plus or minus 24. Then I divide by two, so plus or minus a half. Two divided by two is one, so no need to repeat that. Three halves, then four halves, six halves, eight halves, 12 halves, and 24 halves are all somewhere on this list here, so no need to repeat those. Divide by five, I get a brand new list, plus or minus a fifth, plus or minus two fifths, plus or minus three fifths, plus or minus four fifths, plus or minus six fifths, plus or minus eight fifths, plus or minus 12 fifths, plus or minus 24 fifths. And then finally dividing by 10, I would get two extra possibilities, plus or minus a 10th and plus or minus three tenths. So these are all of the possible rational roots. Uh, a couple of thoughts here. Uh, will all of these work? Absolutely not. Not all of these will work. This is a cubic polynomial, so can, there can be at most three roots. Also, there's no promise that any of these will work. The only promise that you have that any of these will work is basically the benevolence of your instructor, that your instructor would not give you something that could not be factored. But there's no um, promise uh, in, in general that any of these would work. Now, how do we figure out which one of these works? Uh, back in the old days, it was just trial and error. Just try out the one, try out two, try out three, and just uh, see if you happen to find one that works. Uh, these days, it's, this can be uh, done a little bit faster by using technology. So you can use your calculator, and I've printed out here. This here is the graph of 10x cubed plus 27x squared plus 2x minus 24. And it looks like we've got roots here at negative 2 and something else here between negative 1 and negative 2 and something here between zero and one. But it looks like negative two is a root. And so I can use that and I see negative two is one of my possible rational roots. So that's a way to guess at what the first thing to try. So I do synthetic division. So I'm gonna try out negative two. My polynomial is 10, 27 x squared, two x minus 24. And I'll use synthetic division to confirm that negative two is a root. So for synthetic division, bring the 10 down. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Add these, 20 plus negative 20 is 7. Multiply, 2 times negative 2 is negative 14. 2 plus negative 14 is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 2 is plus 24. And I get a remainder of 0, and therefore this is a root. And so what this has shown is that f of x equals x plus 2. Negative 2 is a root of this. And then what I have left here is the quotient. So 10x squared plus 7x minus 12. And so I have found the first root of this polynomial and I get a cubic. Now here I've got a quadratic. When I get something down to a quadratic, if all else fails, I can use the quadratic formula to solve for x um, to figure out how to factor this. In this case, this actually factors. And so the way this factors is going to be x plus 2 and this will factor as 5x, 2x, uh, minus 4, and plus 3. So 10x squared. Here I multiply, I get negative 12. Here I get plus 15, minus 8 for plus 7. And so that, that is the factorization. 
Um, I can do a little bit better than this if I write it like this, times five x minus four fifths times two x plus three halves. Then five times two is 10 x plus two x minus four fifths x plus three halves. Uh, the advantage of writing it like this is that the 10 that you see here matches the 10, the leading coefficient. And also I can just simply read off the roots as negative two plus four fifths and uh, three halves. So the roots would be negative two, four fifths and negative three halves. Uh, that said, leaving it like this would be perfectly acceptable for factoring this over the real numbers. Um, this way, the leading coefficient is simply in front and then I can just read off the roots off the factorization. So that's how to use the rational root test and also the graph of the polynomial to see the roots. Uh, one final note, the roots here, four fifths corresponds to this x-intercept here and negative three halves corresponds to this x-intercept here.